Okay, this awesome device that I have right here could make WSD obsolete, at least for some gamers, and I know that it has for me. So I wanna show you and tell you in this video what exactly this little device is, how we can use it with PC gaming to use keyboard and mouse controls much easier for some people, how I use it specifically and why I use it, and then I'm gonna show you using it in practice so that you can get a sense for it yourself and figure out if this is something that you should use as well. Not a sponsored video, um, but a big fan of it. So it is called the Mac Stick. So this is the device. And you may have come across it in your travels. It is a little controller, and that controller hooks up to a USB-C cable, and then it goes, it's meant to go on the bottom of your keyboard. So originally this came into practice because I think honestly the, the origins of this might have been like a YouTuber or something that was playing Fortnite and blah, blah, blah. Anyway, they 3D printed this and then turned it into a business over time. So let me take it up a uh, top down view and show you how people usually use this. So usually it's meant to be used on the bottom. So instead of using WASD here, you put your fingers here and then you're meant to control uh, up, down, left, right with this, and then you hit your hotkeys over here. So you've got R for reload, space, you can have your thumb on the space. Now you might have noticed I was born with short fingers. And this is why I originally used this in the first place, was, or I looked into this in the first place, because I was born with um, abnormally short fingers. Nobody knows why. Uh, if you're a doctor, maybe you can tell me. <laughs> I have no idea. So I was looking for an alternative because I really wanted to aim with my mouse. Obviously, for shooters, you can be so much more precise. I don't want to use a controller hooked up to my PC. Um, and I just got into PC gaming about a year and a half ago. I built my own computer, and I was like, here we go. And next was figuring out how to make it work. I tried everything to make WASD work. Every Every single thing and I just couldn't get it going you know WASD I couldn't couldn't get it going with these fingers I don't have joints so it's just these these two where are we here these two fingers that I have to use so I looked it up and I found out about the Mac stick so here's how it works it is it's a pretty freaking cool device and let me tell you there's nothing else like it on the market and I know that I've got a bit of a disability but this product is being used by gamers all over the place in this configuration instead of WASD to hit hotkeys with these with these keys and these couple few fingers here and then moving with the thumb here now i don't use it that way i'll show you how i use it that works for me but this is basically how it works so here's how the setup works you use this great little utility and the utility uh, hooks up and it allows you to do all sorts of cool things with this. I really, I really like it. Um, it allows you to change it from X input to keyboard mode. I use mine in keyboard mode. And what this does is it technically changes the up, down, left, right of the stick here. Okay, the up, down, left, right of the stick to the up, down, left, right arrow keys. So, the, so if you're using the Mac stick, the first thing that you need to do is go in here, make sure the firmware is updated. It used to be hard and now it's, it's usually, it comes with the newest firmware in the box. Give it a little calibration in the Mac stick utility and then you're good to go. And then you go into your game and you basically say, hey, instead of using uh, WASD to, to move up, down, left, right, just use the arrow keys up, down, left, right. So just rebind those. That's it. That's all that you need to do is rebind those. Okay. And so then you go in here and you can change whatever you want. So I, for example, I use this differently and I change the forward direction. So instead of left, right, up, down being what it is by default, I changed it in this. There's even a Fortnite thing in here because I told you it was built originally for Fortnite, but you can use it in everything. I'll show you some gameplay of me playing Cyberpunk with it in a minute here. And then keyboard settings here allow you to rebind these five things because you can hit the stick. The stick has a button associated with it and rebind it to anything. As you see, I have it bound to shift and then I change that. Like that's my sprint button. So basically I sprint that way. Um, you can change any of these. It's so awesome. It's super easy to use. It's basically plug and play. Like when, when this first came out, it wasn't as much plug and play and now it is. And I'm just such a fan of it. Let me show you how I use it. So most people use it like this, right? So it comes with this, by the way. It comes with this really nice... Uh, so the part in the crappy webcam camera. Uh, it comes with this really nice thing, this really nice pad to rest on, which is which is nice, which is it's very, very cozy. And it comes with this USB-C cable here. It comes with it, okay? So most people use it like this. That doesn't work for me because I don't have the fingers for the rest of the hotkeys. So I actually use it over here. And oh my gosh, has this been a game changer for me. So I use it over here. I've rebound uh, this to be uh, so that this is up, this is left, this is right, this is down. 
and then I push the thumb thumbstick to sprint, just like you would on a controller. Um, and the hotkeys, some, some of them I use with my thumb over here, but I actually, and I made another video about this that you can find on my channel, I actually rebound everything, all the other hotkeys I have to my mouse. This is probably not the way that you're going to use the Mac stick uh, because uh, you probably have normal fingers, <laughs> but the mouse uh, binding is how I do it. I have this great mouse that has all these different buttons that I, and I've just got it in muscle memory now. Um, but this is how I use it here personally. So I go up, down, left, right, around here, and then I am able to aim with my mouse. Um, I actually have this bound to heal or stem in most games. So I can just go bam, bam, bam to heal. Tab um, is used a lot. And uh, yeah, I've got one, two, three, four, very well accessible. I can also personally bind them to my mouse. But if you have it down here you, and you have normal fingers, you pretty much have access to everything that you need. It's really, really awesome. I mean, it's, it's, it's just such an amazing, amazing little thing. So let's jump into a little bit of cyberpunk here, shall we? So I'm here, I'm playing Phantom Liberty. Um, I'm in the middle of playing Phantom Liberty. And I just wanna show you how this works. So basically here I'm moving around and you see it's very easy for me to move around with this thing. And I've got sprint bound to the thumbstick. So there we go. I sprint and I'm able to aim with my mouse. Super easy, right? Super, super easy. Switching weapons by the hotkeys. I've got my reload bound there and we're good to go. And in practice, here we go. Moving around, shooting, shooting, shooting. There we go, jumping. And that's how it works. And if you had it down here, it would be something more like this, right? And I'm, I'm playing right now, I'm moving I'm moving around, right? And you'd probably be more like this if you were doing it. I mean, I, I have to tell you, like this, this device has honestly changed my gaming life. It has become a godsend for me, especially with my fingers. But I'm hearing from a lot of people out there, you can find, you can find some videos on YouTube, not a ton, um, but you'll find it all over the place. I mean, this is a legit company now that just makes these things and they're constantly updating it and coming out with new versions and there's pretty good support. And you know, what I'm seeing here is that other people that have normal fingers are preferring this now because it's just so much better for them to be able to free up all of these fingers to be able to use hotkeys because essentially you have all these fingers freed up for it and you get to do movement here as you want right um so that's super cool like that's that's super exciting that people have sort of have, have figured that out so if, if you uh, my my recommendation would be if you've ever struggled at all with wasd like you felt that the keys were too close together and you could never just quite get it but you really wanted to do mouse aiming and you just struggle in general with keyboard and mouse in any little tiny way and you're, you've ever thought to yourself there must be a better a slightly better way to do this this is the slightly better way to do this for me it's a game changer for you I mean it might be a game changer as well uh, I would highly recommend checking it out it's maxstick.com m-a-x-x stick.com if you want to check it out again not sponsored or anything like that but it's 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 an awesome little device and I am very grateful that it exists hey I'm a small channel so if you're new here which you probably are <laughs> consider subscribing I, I, I work hard to deliver a lot of value uh, to folks all the time in the world of video games um, I hope you're well and see you in the next video